Be very quiet and tread carefully, you don't want to startle the dinosaur herd, or step in anything they might have left behind. We're in a primeval rainforest with a family of Triceratops and Stegosaurus. They had migrated here for its abundance of food, but now the little ones are getting bigger they need to return to safer grounds for nest building. Wait watch out something's approaching fast. That's a Spinosaurus. It's built for hunting in and around water, but given the opportunity would try to get a meal out of anything it could catch. It looked to be chasing a Quetzalcoatlus, the largest ever flying animal. Fossils have revealed that Spinosaurus would primarily eat aquatic life but would scavenge and hunt in the absence of other food sources. Quetzalcoatlus also eat sea life. So they were in competition with each other. Some meat-eating dinosaurs shrank as time went on and eventually became the birds we see around today. Dinosaurs ruled the Earth for around 174 million years. And they came in many different shapes and sizes. From dog and horse size to the most enormous beasts that have walked the Earth. They were a successful and adaptable group of animals that appeared between 250 million and 230 million years ago. They ruled the planet until a quick extinction event took most non-avian dinosaurs out. All dinosaurs fit into one of three groups. Ornithischian, Sauropodomoth and Theropod. Ornithischian dinosaurs include beaked plant eaters, such as Stegosaurus, duck-billed dinosaurs, as well as horn-based dinosaurs like Triceratops and armored dinosaurs like Ankylosaurus. This Ankylosaurus doesn't seem so happy that we're here. Even though it's from the group Ornithischian, the same as the Triceratops and Stegosaurus that we're traveling with. Some Ornithischians walked on four legs, while others walked on two. Sauropodomoth dinosaur were long necked and pot bellied that had small heads and column like limbs. This group includes sauropods like the Diplodocus, their smaller relatives, and the large sauropods. These were known as titanosaurs such as Dreadnoughts and Argentinosaurus, which were the largest land animals to exist. Theropods were a group of meat-eating dinosaurs that included the likes of Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. Some theropods over time did alter their diet to become more herbivorous or omnivorous to fit in with the changing climates. The landscapes would be drastically different on parts of the supercontinent Pangaea. Here in the desert there was little food as well as water. It was an environment few could survive in. But hunters and scavengers could prey on the weak and weary that were too old or ill to make the journey. You have managed to assist the herd in traveling to the nesting grounds. This will provide them with suitable food for a while and a safe place to nurture their young. They will stay here until they are able to make the dangerous migratory journey back to other feeding grounds and begin the journey all over again.